Hello, YouTubers. Okay, we're at it again. I uh, finally got the extra battery pack that I had ruined. I got a new one in, and it's uh, sitting right there. And uh, it's been hooked on to join to the other battery pack so that they, because I need 48 volts and each pack is only 24 volts. And I also got the battery management system in, which is this unit right here. And while it was traveling here, I went online and watched a bunch of tutorials on how to hook them up, etc., etc. And it's a fairly straightforward system. And this is the uh, plugs that came with the uh, battery management system. And this is a little plug it goes in one spot and this is the uh, thing here together. There's 17 different wires and the way this is set up is what happens is the wires are in sequence so that you will have each group of batteries uh, has a wire at each end and this unit will be able to by selecting the correct wires be able to monitor how much voltage is in each small group so that uh, it will help keep them balanced um, so yesterday i spent an hour or two uh, these colored wires here uh, came with the battery pack and they have special little things that hook on to where the batteries join up and hook on to the uh, junction plates, etc. As you can see here, this is one of the wires that hooks on to the, um, that's the negative terminal there. And this is a positive to the negative joining over there. And <clears throat> so anyway, these took about an hour. You have to do them each individually because they are hot. And if you touch two of them at the wrong time, the wrong place, you can short things out and have a nice little arc. Uh, it's not too dangerous, but there's a lot of power that is in those wires. Uh, so then I uh, hooked them into the system. And as you can see here, there's a port for the 15 or so wires and then the port for the little two wires and uh, when I hooked it in immediately these two little resistors right in here flamed up and smoked and made lots of uh, nice smoke and <coughs> kind of burned the unit uh, I think I can fix this one because I may actually have the parts, but those two little resistors in there are burned up. And uh, so obviously something else was going on wrong here. Um, the unit did not come with any paperwork whatsoever. It just came, I have two of them. This is the wiring harness for the next one and then just buried in there. Uh, so I went back online and where I bought them, which is on eBay. And the, uh, if you go online, you'll see where it's units where you buy it. And then the next page below that is all other people bought this. And the next page below that is, oh, here's all the reviews. And then the next page below that is like, oh, here's a little, you know, how big it is, how much it weighs, all this kind of stuff. And then you get to the very last page and you come up with this, which is the wiring diagram, which I totally missed and had no idea that it was there. But after looking at it and looking at what I had done according to all the YouTube videos, uh, this little piece of this little baby clip right here I thought was used as a reference voltage and all the wires are hooked up in sequence according to that and according to their wiring diagram this is supposed to have three volts somewhere around three and a half volts on it 
When I plugged it into the unit, it actually had 67 volts on it. So it's obvious why it uh, burned the two resistors. And uh, now I have to go back through using their diagram, which is this part right here. And it starts the sequence with the little clip and then continues the sequence with the larger number. So <clears throat> even though the wires are hooked up in the correct order, they're in the wrong slot, should we say. So basically I have to start all over, which is what my project is for today. And then I can plug it in and uh, let them balance out before I hook them into the actual system. But uh, so just to let you know that, yep, I screwed up again. And uh, now that I have the wiring diagram, I should be able to uh, correct the mistake. Uh, the units were only about, uh, well, by the time they got here, about 100 bucks a piece. So another lesson that I had to pay for, but uh, it wasn't as expensive as the blown out battery pack over there. And <clears throat> this should work itself out now but just to goes to show you that you think you have all the information but you don't but how do you know you don't until you don't know you don't or whatever so anyway that's where we're at um, I have the new unit on order so it'll be another two weeks before all this gets hooked up again but I'm going to wire up the battery packs and hook them up together and uh, have everything ready to go once a new new unit shows up so that's where we are with the battery system and the off-grid system uh, another delay but uh, that's, that's life I guess but this time I'll do it right all right take care